potentially dangerous weather situations. Specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the intent. The dominant period tests of these receivers normally are conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. When there is a threat of or exceeds to 11 in the area on Wednesday, the test is postponed to the first available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. C7, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning to 6 to 8 volts, the warning alarm will be activated only for warnings and selected watches affecting the South Florida counties. In addition to the regular alarm tone, the NOAA weather radio system is equipped with an additional warning. Relative humidity was 90% and the minimum relative humidity was 48%. The normal temperature for today is 82 degrees, and the normal low is 64. The record high for today is going to be which last occurred in 1971. Warnings affecting only the county desired. Melbourne's going. Saturday and Saturday night, and commercial radio and television. For more information regarding the same program, contact your local National Weather Service office. I'm actually getting WX270 right now for some reason. The one radio that didn't go off was a CNG and the CL100. These guys went off. Everything here went off. It looks. These guys went off. That went off. These two.
There's a voice call.